Hey guys, Video James, this is going to be how to use Heliolisk. Heliolisk is one of those Pokemon that you just look at and it's like, wow, th this is a thing, this exists, this was apparently a good idea somewhere. And sometimes it's kind of hard to see why those kinds of Pokemon would be a good idea, just because they don't seem to have much appeal to them when you look at them by themselves. That it's the same case with Heliolisk, that we have electric and normal typing, that's just one of the weirdest things we've ever seen just only rivaled by Drampa's normal dragon typing. That when we look at his weaknesses, instead of having the ground weakness, we now have a fighting weakness and a ghost resistance. So, Heliolisk not really going to be doing anything in terms of taking damage. We are going to be resisting flying steel and electric, though, which is kind of good, because now with all the fairies that exist, we might be seeing a lot more steel types like Lucario and... Sizor, running around, I had to think of another steel type. And then, when we look at what Helioptile can da- Helioptile, that's pre-evolution. Heliolisk can damage good. We see that he's an electric type, so already we hit water and flying super effective. And then he gets access to stuff like dragon type moves, and grass type moves, and even gets hit some rock type moves. So, Heli Helioptile doesn't really have that much of a shortage in terms of hitting hard. And then, when we look at its abilities, they all seem weather-based. Weather -based. So, right away you're going to be thinking, I need to lead off with a weather Pokemon to compat with this, so I need to throw out, like, a Mega Tyranitar, or I need to throw out a Politoed, depending on the ability you run. So, we see that he's got Dry Skin, HP restored when hit by a Water-type move, or when it's raining, but also makes it weak to fire and reduces HP during strong sunlight. And then we've got Sand Veil raises its evasion during a hail s during a sandstorm by one level and also makes it immune to the sandstorm. And then we've also got Solar Power that during sunshine, which is basically sunny day or drought, this Pokemon special attack is raised to 1.5, but its HP decreases by one eighth in the maximum HP every turn, which is actually extremely good because not only does Helioptile have an insane special attack hitting 109. But it also has its own signature move, which doubles as a healing move, Parabolic Charge. User attacks everything around it. The HP is restored by half the damage taken by those hit. So you throw him out into a double battle against something with, say, Drizzle, like a Politoed or a Pelipper now. I forgot Pelipper has Drizzle. Oh my god, that's godly. And then we just think Protect on whatever we don't want to get hit with Parabolic Charge and just hit all the way through. That with our... Dry skin, we're going to be getting a heal, and at the same time, Parabolic Charge give us heal on damage if we've taken it already. And then, when we look at its other moves, basic moveset for every Pokemon, we've got Toxic, Hidden Power, Light Screen, and we also see that Helioptile does get access to the weather moves, which is actually good for him in his case, because he relies on weather a lot. Uh, he gets Thunder, Thunderbolt, Rock Tomb... He does get Focus Blast, which is actually kind of good, and now in 7th Gen, he gets Brutal Swing, Giga Impact, Grass Knot, Dragon Tail, and just a whole bunch of other stuff, including U-Turn and Volt Switch, so we can tell he's going to be able to back out of a situation if he needs to. And then when we look at the transfer moves, we see stuff like, well, pre-evolution moves, we see stuff like Pound, Bulldoze, Mud Slap, Thunder Wave, and then in transfer moves... We see stuff like Dragon Pulse, best dragon move ever, Fire Punch, Hyper Voice, Iron Tail. This Pokemon has a lot of tail moves that would benefit from an ability that boosted any move with tail in the name. And then we see his stats, not much to be desired, that we're just going to be a straight speeder and a straight special attacker, even though we're not going to be outspeeding much, that with our speed we only hit 84 in the charts and we're getting outsped by 83 other Pokemon. And then, when we look at that, though, which we will in a little bit, we'll see that we still outspeed a lot. So, special attack and speed, evenly balanced. Special defense, 94. Defense, really cringy at 52. And then the HP rests at 62. So we're not really going to be seeing a lot. And something that always confuses me whenever I use Cerebi is that max stats for the beneficial nature, neutral nature, and hindering nature include HP as well. So I'm like... Why don't you just use one thing for every HP thing? But anyway, then when we look at Helioptile... Helioptile. 
Heliolisk, in terms of speed charts, we see that he's only 85 on the chart. I messed up, I said 84, my bad. I know, I'm calling it right now, my bad. We're all human, we make mistakes. And then we see that we're getting outsped by 84 other Pokemon, some of them being Alolan Doug Trio, Durant, and even Mega Metagross, which is kind of ironic considering Helioptile weighs less than all of those by a lot. And then we see, though, we still outspeed a lot of our weaknesses, that we see Kartana, we outspeed that. Cabalion, outspeed. Tarakian, outspeed. Basically all of the Guardians, we outspeed. And then we see stuff like Normal Wapani, we outspeed. Pinsir, we outspeed. Sharpedo, we outspeed. And stuff like Emolga and Nihilego, and even Garchomp, we outspeed. So if we max invest in a Heliotile and this just Joy Scarf it, we're going to be outspeeding a Garchomp, which is kind of godly considering how fast Garchomp is. So then when we pop over into Showdown, we see just not really much. What do you mean can connect the server? This is not what I want. We see not much that we can really do that with Heliotile being limited in his moveset, we don't really have much... He has, we do have just a plain sweeper set, there's always that option, that every time you run a Pokemon set, you're always going to be seeing plain sweeper, that we've got just Thunderbolt, Dragon Pulse, and Surf for damage, give him the solar power, throw him into any area where he has like Sunny Day active or Drought active, and then just give him the Focus Sash so he can take a hit, and if he does end up getting hit super effective, that we can just use Volt Switch and get out of the situation and go where we need to. And then we do also have a physical sweep, and this set, like I said, Heliotile's ability kind of differs with each set, but we'll get to that later. And then when we look at Heliotile's EV investment, that we're basically just maxing out the special attack and the speed and throwing on a speed boosting nature that we're trying to be as fast as possible. That with solar power boosting our special attack to 1.5, we're already getting way higher than our speed, so we could even throw on a Choice Scarf if we wanted to, or we could throw on um, Life Orb if you just wanted extra damage. And then, when we look at his nature, again, Timid, just to get that speed up. And then going on to the next set, we have a physical set. Like I said, the ability changes every set, so we've got Bright Powder on this Helioptile, just for that evasion bonus. And then, we also have Sand Veil on this, so we can tell right away switch into Tyranitar or something with Sandstorm, like I said. And then, not only are we getting the immunity to Sandstorm, but that evasion boost as well, plus the evasion from the Bright Powder. And then we've got stuff like Thunder Punch, Dragon Tail, Rock Slide, just basic damage moves. And then we've also got the option of U-Turn, so that if we see something again we don't like, just switch out again. And then, EVs on this one basically just max out the attack, max out the speed, And just throw on a Jolly Nature to that. We're trying to outspeed again, because we need that speed desperately, and we just throw on as much damage as we can possibly get, that we're not really worried about our HP, we know we get hit with a defensive move, we're going down. Although, if you do want more evasion on this set, I found out Z Magnet Rise not only gives you immunity to ground-type moves, but also gives you, I think, 1.33 bonus accuracy or evasion? I'm not sure. And then, when we move on to the next set, this one kind of differential on the item. You could run Focus Sash or Bright Powder, depending on what you want to use. I just throw on a Focus Sash just because take the damage, and you'll still survive. And then for this set, we've got just a stat copier for a complete god. That we've got Swagger, boost our opponent's attack by 2, while at the same time confusing them. And then he also gets access to Psych Up. That Psych Up... We just copy our opponent's stat changes that we gave him from the Swagger, and now we're just doubling our attack up into the 418. And then just straight damage, Thunder Punch, Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail, probably best just to get the opponent out of there, make him send in something he doesn't want on the field, and just confuse that, get the extra bonus, and just keep switching out with Dragon Tail, or just straight Thunder Punch damage if you want it. And like I said, with this one, Focus Sash and Bright Powder, different variations, you can do whatever you want. And again, max attack investment, max speed, throw on Jolly Nature, ding dong done. And then for the last set, we've got a kind of double battle set. Like I said, Electrium Z. And with this set, I kind of believe it's best to use a Drizzle Pokemon with him. That with the double battle and the Drizzle, 
you're going to be getting a lot of what this guy needs. That we have the dry skin healing us by one-eighth when we get hit with a rain-type move. Or, not rain. With rain. And if we get hit with a water-type, getting healed by, like, 1.4. And then on this one, we have the Electrium Z Magnet Rise. So if I go and click on that, we see that he gets immediately amazing things from the Z Magnet Rise. That for five turns, the user is immune to ground type moves. But if I type in Magnet Rise Z, or Z Magnet Rise, I've got Showdown's kind of weird with how it wants to put stuff in. There we go, Z Magnet Rise. Or not. But anyway, with Z Magnet Rise, we're boosting our evasion while giving us that immunity to ground types. So they try and send in something to cancel out the rain, like a Primal Groudon. We're going to be getting that immunity to ground types anyway, so they're going to have to hit us with a Fire-type move. Which, again, bad, but at the same time kind of good for us, because we can just swap out. Because we know we're going to be getting hit with a Fire-type move. And then we just got straight damage. Thunder, because it gets that 100% accuracy in rain. Surf, just because Water-type move hits every opponent. And then Focus Blast. Just Focus Blast for that special damage, and, again, massive damage on the Focus Blast that we see Focus Blast has a power of 120, and we're just going to be hurting everything, not to mention it has the 10% chance to lower the target's special defense by 1. And then, again, this set just max out the speed and the special attack. Basically, that's the kind of thing you want to do for every Heliolisk set, that... They're going to be outspeeding and damaging as much as possible that they're not really going to have much sustain because even if we max out the HP, we see we only hit 328 and then our defenses are still terrible that we only have 52 in our defense and 224 in our special defense and that we're not going to be able to take any sort of hit. So then that does it for how to use Helioptile. Again, really versatile Pokemon. This thing can go across a whole array of scenarios and still win. Sorry, I had something in my eye. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode of How to Use Pokemon here. Again, if you guys have any Pokemon you want to see me do a video on, please let me know down in the comments. I'm always looking for ideas. And if you like this video, go ahead and slap the like button as always, and I will see you guys later.